There are so many different writing programs at your disposal to pin your stories today, and transferring between them shouldn't be something you have to worry about. Writing is hard enough, and that's why we've made it easy to import your story into Campfire. To begin, all you need is a docx file. All of your Microsoft Word files are already the correct file type. If you use another program though, you should be able to export your story into that format if you need to. Here are a few quick ways to export your work from several popular word processors. In Apple Pages, click on the File option in the top navigation bar of your Mac screen. Select Export To, then choose Word. With Scrivener, click File in the top navigation of Scrivener, Export, then Files. You'll be asked to name the file and choose a folder for it to save to, as well as what type of file you'd like to export it as. Choose Microsoft Word .docx from the drop-down menu. And in Google Docs' navigation toolbar, click File, Download, then Microsoft Word. The option should have a handy little .docx extension after it. Your file will export to your computer's downloads folder. If you're using another program, look for a download or export tool under the file menu. It's usually somewhere around there. To import a docx file into your manuscript module on Campfire, you need to be logged in first. Once you've done that, open a project and you'll find the option to import from docx located under the file tab in the top navigation toolbar of your project dashboard or manuscript module. A modal will pop up and you'll be asked to either upload or drag and drop a .docx file from your computer into Campfire. Once you've uploaded your file, you can then choose how it imports. Images should transfer regardless, but there will be two columns with a range of text formatting options to select from. Under text formatting, you can adjust what types of formatting are retained, if any. Import as plain text loads your document as plain text on a page. All formatting, text stylings, and headings will be cleared. Bulleted and number lists will upload with hyphens. Basic formatting only gives you the choice to keep bolded text, italicized text, or underlined text, or any combination of these or all three. Headings, indentations, and lists will remain. Keep Original Formatting tells Campfire to keep as much of the document's original formatting as possible. The file will retain headings, text styling, and other formatting styling, such as numbered or bulleted lists. Break Document into Chapters allows you to customize how many unique manuscript elements your document will become in Campfire, and at what part of your document these chapter breaks will occur. Break at each title breaks your document into separate chapter elements at the start of each formatted title. Break at Heading 1 breaks your document into separate chapter elements at the start of each formatted Heading 1. Break at each Heading 2 breaks your documents into separate chapter elements at the start of each formatted Heading 2. Break at each Page Break breaks your document into separate chapter elements at the start of each Page Break. Custom Break breaks your document into separate chapter elements at the start of each instance of your chosen custom symbols. For example, you may have used the pound symbol three times in a row at the start of each new section in your document. Enter that in the text box here to indicate that this is where you want each new chapter element to be created from. Note that your custom symbol must appear either at the start of a header or on its own line to qualify. The last option is Do Not Break Into Chapters. This will upload the entire document as a single chapter element. Formatting will be retained if you selected that option, but all of the contents of your original document will still be in one element on Campfire. When you're finished, click Import File. You should see your imported work listed under your manuscript module, either as one new element with the original file name or as multiple elements named by the title, heading, or custom symbol you selected to break each chapter by. Don't forget, the free version of the manuscript module only allows you to have up to 25,000 words, so if you try to import a document with a word count that would exceed that limit, you may need to start a subscription for as little as $1.50 
USD per month or reduce the word count in the document you're trying to import so it's under the module's free limits. And that's it. It's easy to bring your story into the manuscript module. Check out the full written tutorial linked in the description for more information and try Campfire for free.